Hi guys, uh, Moses back from uh, Mr. Benetti uh, YouTube channel. Uh, I was speaking with uh, Chris Blake, who is a uh, contributor to the Tesla Coil group on Facebook, and uh, he commented on my uh, setup and he noticed that uh, it, we were getting uh, flyback uh, patterns because of uh, the spark gap on the machine and suggested that I wirelessly pick up the uh, uh, output of the machine using a uh, RF antenna or a uh, ferrite choke or something like that. Uh, I just happened to have this very large ferrite core I was using as a uh, step-down transformer for something and I hooked up to the uh, what was the secondary on the thing and uh, I tested it with my trusty uh, Hantec uh, LCR meter over here and I got about 49, uh, 479 millihenries which uh, is enough inductance, I think, maybe more than enough. And I mounted it to my tripod, put it close to the machine, and started to see if I can pick up a signal. So let's see if we can get one. And there we are. And if we go over to the oscilloscope, we're getting uh, resonance patterns, just like I said we would get. Uh, again, it looks like a uh, an inductor excited by a square wave. Uh, I don't know if the machine's just exciting it, but uh, if we look at the frequency, it's all over the map along with the voltage, but the frequencies are in the range that I initially mentioned that you would get on these machines, anywhere from uh, 10 kilohertz all the way up to 100. Uh, we actually get fluctuations between one kilohertz going all the way up to uh, about 120, I've seen it go up to. And if you notice on the voltage, the voltage is all over the place too. Of course, it's in millivolts now because we're just picking up wirelessly on a uh, little makeshift uh, a ferrite antenna. But as you see, the frequency is constantly changing. You can see the large, uh, the large uh, uh, patterns, uh, resonance patterns coming on. There's small resonance patterns and very large ones come and the voltage goes way up. And again, it's uh, all over the map, just like I said it was on these machines, except now we're not getting flyback patterns, we're getting resonance patterns. Uh, like I said, you typically see on these machines when you scope them as a resonance pattern, which we were missing before. Now we're getting them, and again, the frequency is all over the map. Uh, I'm not 100% sure what all this means, except that, like I said, uh, voltage is quite all over the place, uh, and... Uh, the frequency varies again uh, between, it looks like between one kilohertz and uh, before it was going up all the way over a hundred. I probably have the machine a little slower now, but if we turn it up, we can watch the, uh, the frequency go up. So we turned it up a little bit. Uh, we're going up, uh, see we just, hit a, we just hit 60 over there, again it's all over the place. If you look down on the bottom, and one, 1 kilohertz, and then it's up to 39, 20, 73, it's all over the map. And so is the voltage. So I'm not sure if we learned anything new. Uh, like I said, frequency uh, kind of fluctuates a lot, and voltage is all over the map, uh, peaking out at some point. Uh, and it's doing basically the same thing it was doing when we were watching the uh, flyback patterns before, but uh, now we're getting resonance patterns. But again, what I've seen before, this is typical output from these machines. Uh, not sure if we learned anything new, but looks pretty cool. So I uh, hope uh, this is interesting to somebody. Maybe somebody else will comment and uh, let me know what I'm doing right or what I'm doing wrong here. But pretty interesting, I think. Good night.